Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today I have a couple of Bigfoot sightings to share with you. But before we get into them, let me remind everyone that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be posting new sighting reports. And don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. Now before we get in, I'd like to apologize for the sound on this video. I'm off doing an investigation and I'm not in the best room to record in. But so, with that said, let's get on into the sighting now. This sighting comes out of New Hampshire, with the witness having multiple sightings over the years, from 2001 through 2009, when she made this report. Now the witness says that her and her family moved to this area in 2001 with her having several sightings over the past few years. With most of the sightings occurring as she's watching TV in her living room. She says that she knows that it sounds weird, but that she is serious. Saying that her couch sits facing a large picture window. Now beyond this window, he says that there is a small creek and an empty wooded lot, with her saying that she has seen bear, deer, turkey, raccoons, moose, and foxes on her property, with them living in a part of Guilford called Gunstock Acres. Now she says that these sightings occur in the summer months, that it is always late into the evening on a dark summer's night with there being no particular time or date for a sighting. Now from the top of her window to the ground is around 10 foot, and that she puts this creature that she has seen over the years at around 9 foot tall, while having dark brownish long hair, with it walking upright like a human, or similar to anyway, saying that she has seen this creature passed her window heading in one direction. Then after a few minutes, it would pass the window once again going back in the direction that it had just came from. Then other times passing as it changes directions. Or just walks away until we see it again. Which has been about once a year, the witness says. With her saying, that she has seen this creature look like a shadow if the lights are on in the house. While saying that she is usually called off guard when she sees this creature, with it always startling her whenever she does see this thing, sending her into a disbelief-like feeling, even though she knows that there is no other explanation for what she is witnessing. Now this past summer, as she once again witnessed this creature walk across the window, she told her husband and her family that she had seen this creature once again. But this time her oldest son told them that he had also seen this creature just a few nights before her sighting, with him saying that this creature was walking across the window and that it looked right in at him through the window as it was passing by, saying that her son described the same creature as she had witnessed over the years, except that he had seen the creature's face, and that he swears that it was a Bigfoot creature, saying that her son is in his mid-twenties, but witnessing this creature has really creeped him out. With her saying next, that they live in a part of the great north woods with lakes, mountain rivers, and caves, with them being plenty of places for a creature to hide, stating that they have heard strange grunting noises along with tree limb breaks and wild strange screams that just come out of nowhere. Even with them hearing what they describe as walking sounds coming from the wooded lot, with the witness refusing to go outside after dark, 
saying that after she does witness these creatures, that she will turn on all the outside lights with her keeping them on at night until she once more forgets that this creature is out there. Now, I don't see how you would ever truly forget a creature like that, but I guess she just means until the thought of it moves further back in her memories so that it's not on her mind all the time. Now she says that during the winter, they do see huge prints out there with them going around the house often, even though she says that they are unidentifiable most of the time due to the large amount of snows that they get there, with her saying that she is spooked by the sightings but that this creature has only looked into the window every now and then. It hasn't heard or done anything to anyone. She knows what she has seen. Now she says that they haven't told anyone of her sightings or the other strange noise that she and her family has heard. They don't want people to think that they are crazy or anything. With her saying, that she just wants to know what this creature is, with her thinking that it's a Bigfoot. Also, her son believes what he saw was a Bigfoot, with her neck saying that it is too tall walking on its hind legs to be a bear, while walking on just its hind legs for a good distance cuts out a lot more animals. So it can't be a moose, she says with her saying that it is built like a really large broad-shouldered man with him being muscular and covered with hair. Now her son is the only one that has seen this creature's face with him saying that the skin upon this creature's face was lighter in color. Now I wonder, since they only see this creature or creatures once a year or so, if they have moved onto a traveling trail for these creatures, with her seeing them as they are moving from the north to the south, or from the south to the north. So I hope you have enjoyed this report. So smash that like button, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell, so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. Now this next sighting also comes from this area of New Hampshire. It's from June of 2019. The witness states that him and his family was driving back home. It was late that evening, around midnight or maybe even a little later. They had been visiting family and had a late dinner with them and didn't leave until around 11 that evening while having a three and a half hour drive back home, with it taking them through New Hampshire, saying that they were a good hour or more into the drive, when the witness says he noticed something on the passenger side of the road. It was around 50 yards or so away, when he says that he asked his wife, do you see that? With her replying, what? So he pointed to a very large animal as he started to slow down. With his teenage son hearing their conversation. With him setting up and looking to where his dad was pointing. With the witness saying that next he heard his wife and son say, What is that? This creature was huge, says the witness. It was at least eight to nine foot tall while walking on just its hind legs. It wasn't a bear on its hind legs. He says that he knows bears, that he has been a hunter for over 30 years. He first started hunting with his father when he was only eight years old. Now he says that he's 38 now and that he's not crazy, that he saw this animal walking along the road as sure as he's telling this story. Once the lights from the car hit this creature, he says that it was a brown with a slight reddish tint to it. It was slightly hunched forward, 
with its arms swinging forward and back as it took steps, with its arms looking to be long for that of a human, which they could have looked to be that long, due to how this creature was hunched over. But even then, he said, they did seem longer. He says that he knows it wasn't a human, but if it was called Guinness, that he had just seen the biggest person ever recorded for sure. He thinks that it can even take the most hairy person record as well. While saying next, that this creature was very wide, maybe around four feet or more at its shoulders. This was a very large creature. He says that his wife and son are terrified now of something that is said not to exist. He says his son doesn't go hunting with him much anymore, and his wife won't talk about it. She just tells him to let it go. I don't know what I saw, she tells him anymore. His son is 19 now. He was 17 at the time of the sighting. Him and the witness does talk about what they saw that night, but they have never told anyone until this report. And the witness says that they probably never will. People just don't believe people when they say that they have seen something strange out there. This was a short little sighting report. So what do you think about this one? Would this family see a Bigfoot that night? Or could it have been something else? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think on this one. And also hit that like button. While if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell. So you can keep up with all of our latest videos. Now if you have the time, jump on over to Teespring's forward slash stores forward slash those dash endless dash mysteries. Where you can find some cool t-shirts among other items. And help support our channel. So till next time, have a great day, and thanks for watching Those Endless Mysteries.